The moment you lay eyes on the Mayo Hotel, you know it's a special place. It's luxurious and comfortable with grand and original old world charm. The Mayo was the place to see and be seen and I feel like we have been able to bring that back. Macy Snyder Amatucci and her family purchased the Mayo in 2001. It had been closed since the 80s and in need of major repairs. Today, this downtown diamond sparkles bright. Pretty much restore it back to what it was originally. And that all started in 2008 and we reopened in September of 2009. There are 102 plush rooms with several different layouts, some with fantastic views like this one of the BOK Center. You'll find other rooms with living areas and full kitchens. Huge bathrooms, walk-in closets. We have hotel rooms that range all the way up to a thousand square feet. They're very large, the suite's very large, and just our regular, the regular king rooms are great too. The towels are amazing, the sheets are great. Uh, I've traveled all over the world and it's a pretty great hotel. Chelsea White has stayed at the Mayo many, many times. She's a regular to say the least. I typically stayed anywhere from, you know, three or four times a month. Chelsea logged more than 40 overnight stays before deciding to actually move in. Yes, there are apartments here, 76 to be exact. You'll see residents around the building right alongside guests and employees. The, the friendly vibe of being here as a guest or resident is just amazing. One of the crown jewels here at the Mayo Hotel is the Crystal Ballroom, and it too has been restored to its original beauty. The floor to ceiling windows, the views, the crown molding, and the four original chandeliers, which is how it got its name, the Crystal Ballroom, but those crystal chandeliers are beautiful. You can't help but feel the history when you're here. It surrounds you. The whole hotel is a museum. When you visit the Mayo, be sure to visit the mezzanine level. There are all sorts of great old photographs up here to look at, including this old glass case that's filled with all sorts of original memorabilia. Everything from original room keys to monogrammed coffee pots. In fact, old photos are on every floor, in every room. Walls of the penthouse bar are covered with the records of past guests, like U2 and Elvis. Up here, you can hang out inside or outside. How great is this rooftop patio? Which has some of the best views in Oklahoma. Downstairs at the Mark Cafe, grab a coffee, a drink at the bar, tasty treat, or something to eat. There's a full menu of things from the Mayo chefs. Whatever brings you to the hotel, it's likely to be a memorable visit. Making a Mayo memory every day is something that happens just from walking through the door to um, having dinner here or being a guest at an event. We are constantly creating Mayo memories for our guests, which is what um, the Mayo was all about back when it opened in the um, early 20s. I think if you haven't been a guest at the hotel, you should definitely try it out. At the Mayo Hotel in downtown Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma. Here's how to find out more about this great Oklahoma destination. As always, TravelOK.com is your best one-stop shop for information about all Oklahoma has to offer. Please press like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications.